Amid the cheers and runs through the tunnel, there's one face that most Notre Dame fans might not recognize. He didn't miss any of the games, any of the home games, I should say. He's in the locker room with the guys. Sam Grew gets a unique perspective, a first-hand look at what it means to be part of an undefeated season, something that goes a long way to motivate a teen going through a tough battle. He's been in the hospital um, upwards to 140 days this year. Uh, has had several surgeries. Um, it's just been a long process. Back in December 2011, Sam started feeling pain in his knee. Tests soon showed that a rare form of cancer was to blame. Sam was told he had a tumor on Christmas Eve last year, and then um, he overheard a conversation on Christmas Day, and that's how he found out he had cancer. And so the decision was made to go with what's called a rotation plasty in hopes of making Sam cancer-free and giving him the chance to one day get back to playing sports. They cut, him, cut his leg off at the top and at the bottom, basically, and removed the center section. And then they took what was left of, of his lower leg and reattached it to what was left of the top leg, but backwards. But getting through that surgery was just a little bit easier, knowing that an entire football team was cheering him on. Something that helps on days like this one, when Sam feels the effects of chemo treatments. Just days before his amputation, the Irish donned grew crew shirts as they welcomed him on board. Now Sam calls some of the Irish players his good friends. Uh, Grant Patton, John Goodman. And the players themselves see him as an inspiration. Pictures from this unforgettable season line the walls in the Gru basement. Moments that help Sam push through. Now there's one final game before the final rounds of chemo. This culmination, this national championship game, the end of their season is happening so close to the end of our chemotherapy. You know, like it feels like everything's sort of getting wrapped up, reasons to celebrate and, uh, and then, you know, move on.